What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from MTG headquarters doing what I do. Finally got the new computer up and running. Hopefully uh, it will fix the many audio and visual issues that I've had, but that's not what this is about. It's Monday and it's a booster box Monday. Maybe that will be something to do like every Monday. Like, hey everyone, it's, uh, it's a booster box Monday. I don't know, but we've got Dragons of Tarkir. You guys voted on Twitter, so if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you follow at MTG Headquarters so your voice can be heard as well. Um, I do hold the right to veto because I'm just that kind of a jerk, but uh, overall, uh, I let you guys vote completely. I exercise, I'm, you know, I'm a strict, I'm a firm but fair leadership kind of guy, you know? And uh, I hope that you will respect my authorities. So, uh, Dragons of Tarkir. Most notably, the card collected company would be in this set. Um, Narset Transcendent, which never really kind of was fulfilled. Everyone was really hyped up about her at one time, but it just didn't really play out that way. We have Colgan's Command, Dragonlord of Tarka, Tarka's Command. These are all like a few dollar cards, but certainly not a bad pull to, to find if they are in the shiny version. So let's get right to it. I'm not looking for anything, but just some nostalgic fun. I was definitely back to the game for good in Dragons of Tarkir, which uh, came out March 27th of 2015. Man, it's a long time ago. <laughs> Rakshasa Gravecaller, very solid card in limited if I remember. Draconic Roar, obviously very strong card. And we have a Pristine Skywise. You know, I was still getting into the game, uh, into the limited scene when this came out. And I was still learning that taking six drops really isn't that great for draft. So I would always find myself taking these big flyers, you know, because why wouldn't I? But press the advantage. Lightning Berserker, that's his play. Salumgar Spell Eater and a Harbinger of the Hunt. Very strong card. Five mana, five power flyer. It's kind of uh def kind of something that you like to see. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I went and saw Hell or High Water. I thought it was pretty damn good. And I actually saw War Dogs, which was mediocre. It wasn't bad. But I wouldn't pay 10 bucks to see it again. But that's just my opinion. Coliseum of Behemoth. Karasai Deceiver. Blood Chin Rager. And a Blessed Reincarnation. The pile of random rares and things like that are definitely stacking up. And I need to <laughs> make some HQ packs soon here. So be, a look, be on the lookout for those. I don't know when that's going to be, but hopefully somewhat soon. We have a Gate Smasher, Salt Road Ambushers, Youthful Scholar, and Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Flavorful card. Flavor is a thing, especially when, uh, you know, you're hungry and you're, you're eating. There are people that enjoy the flavor of the game. I've never been that kind of a person, but it's interesting to hear about. It's not like I dislike it. Lurking aren't aren't arnks in case an ice. Foul tongue invocation, very solid, and boltling marauder. We're getting all the five and six mana dragons for sure. I remember limited around this time and it was kinda like you took one of those as your curve topper, almost everyone had one. Those six mana dragons too. They weren't great, but at least you were playing with dragons, and that was a flavor win. <laughs> Echoes of the Kin Tree. Shield High Dragon as an example of one. Tapestry of the Ages. And Illusionary Gains. Definitely enjoyed the bolster mechanic as well as uh, Morph. Megamorph, my apologies. Megamorphin. Power Rangers. Virulent Plague. Sideboard tech. 
Surge of Righteousness, Sideboard Tech, Salemgar Monument, Zergo Bell Striker, Red Aggro, Love, and a Foil Volcanic Rush. So, Conspiracy 2 drops this week. Uh, how excited are you guys? I am unsure if I'm going to get any. I mean, I'll definitely get a box for the channel. It probably won't be a midnight box, but I'll make sure I go out on Friday and get a box and get it up for you Friday night. Press the advantage. A lot of spicy reprints, that's for sure. Savage Ventma, Dragon Loft Idol, and Anafenza. Loved this card. Some about the double white, two twos. I don't know, ever since White Knight. Now, I don't care for White Knights these days, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I need like one of those little air horn. Like that air horn gifts. Learn from the past. Silk Wrap, solid. Ojitai Monument. And our first mythic, Risen Executioner. This uh, saw some play in the z current zombie builds, and hopefully. Um, and maybe it's still a thing out there. Again, you guys always lambaste me over uh, me not knowing every single deck in the meta. Well, I'm a filthy casual. I like to play competitive, but I'm still a filthy casual. My work life dictates that. Dictates that. Hopefully this winter things will slow down. I'll be able to get back in there. Slumgar Scorn. Warbringer. Dramoka Monument. And Dragon's... Dragon Tempest. I definitely think this winter I'll be uh, backing off my day job a bit. And uh, putting ha that'll give me more time to play Magic. But again, Magic is a hobby. And uh, working pays the bills. So we'll see. Dance of the Skywise. Scale Blessing. Atarka Monument. And Damnable Pact. That's a very cool card. Work-life balance is rough right now. I haven't even done a single in-real-life draft of Aldrich Moon. I am hoping beyond hope this week that I can. The tw I've gone twice, and it didn't fire. So hopefully this week I'll get to go again and get it filmed for you guys. I know a lot of you like that, and the patrons uh, need their due. Battle Mastery. Scale Guard Sentinels. Avian Sunstriker, Sunbringer's Touch. Oh, I was thinking I needed to do three videos this week, but I don't. If I do a conspiracy video on Friday, I just need to do two, so that's cool. We'll have a fat pack Friday, probably on Thursday. Inspiring Call, Inok Survivalist, Godol Lurker. And Bow Razor Regent. Nothing like seven mana fly. Ooh, a foil rare is a Necromaster Dragon. Oh, so shiny. Not a foil collected company, or a, a Tarkus Command, or Colligan's Command, but that's okay. Inspiring Call. Explosive Vegetation. Played that in my. Green Ramp Eldrazi deck. The Ambuscade Shaman. And Secure the Waste. Play this in my Nyamigos deck. Nyamigos! The deck that never never really did anything at GP Minneapolis. <laughs> it existed in my backpack, though. Salemgar Scorn. Salt Road Quartermasters. Dragon Hunter. And Dragon Lord Colligan, another mythic. Six mana, six five, flying haste. Pretty spicy. Foil Island. Doobie, doobie, doo. I hope it's working because I'm. I don't have time to reshoot. <laughs> and I can't repack all these booster packs. Enduring Scale Lord. Dragon Lord Servant. Deadly Wanderings, and Hedonist Trove. Dragons like their gold. Ooh, Foil Ultimate Price. That's not a bad Foil Uncommon. Put that in the royal, the, in the rare pile. It's probably worth more than most of the rares. Maybe not. T 
Charco Pummeler. Minister of Pain. Loved that card. Foul Renewal. Fun card. If I remember right, it like... Um, very strong. I would say first pickable, but I'm not an expert. But it's a very powerful card. Battle Mastery. Warbringer. Graceblade Artisan and Bloodchin Fanatic. Great card if you were rocking Mardu or Black White Warriors, I mean. Black White Warriors in this draft set, in this draft block, was pretty too legit to quit, if I remember properly. Stormwing Dragon, Salemgar Spell Eater, Self Inflicted Wound, and Profound Journey. Yeah, there's always a. One pretty good black white warriors deck and one like black white splash warriors deck because everyone kind of fought over it at the table. I tried to not move into it because so many people were fighting over it. Herd Chaser Dragon, Salemgar Sorcerer, Acid Spewer Dragon, and Dragon Lord Jamoka. Yeah, this is from this is in my Nai Amigos deck as well. We are finding the mythicals, boys. Fam. I'm trying to get rid of boys. Replace with fam because I know there's at least three females that watch these videos. Maybe even four. So I don't want to alienate them with boys. Dramoka Captain. Rendering Volley. Void Squall. Death Bringer Regent. Seven mana, unplayable. In limited, but a fun card for lots of other decks. Casual favorite, which is why I like it. I think I just, you just have to stop fighting and just accept that you're a dirty casual like me, folks. Chances are, if you're watching box openings, you might have dirty casual tendencies that you don't know about yet. Roast, Cars High Deceiver, Ambushade Shaman, Radiant Purge. Ooh, and a foil silk wrap. I'm getting like the premium foil on commons. Foil ultimate price, foil silk wrap. I know they're probably not worth a ton, but at least they're. Uh, there's people that want them. I could put them in HQ packs and people will be happy to open them. So it's a win all around. Colligan Monument, Salt Road Quartermasters, Skywise Teachings, and a Dem Protector. So strong. I forgot this card was even in this set. Den Protector is super legit. I always, like, Dem Protector and Tireless Tracker, for some reason, they get mixed up in my mind. I don't know why. Probably because I'm old and the slow, constricting grip of Alzheimer's disease is setting in. Dramoka's Gift, Bell Toll Dragon, Blood Chin Rager, and Stratus Dancer. Solid card. Probably need to white balance. Uh, those colors look a little extra vivid, but... Uh, I added some additional lighting down here thanks to the patrons or those are the people that support on Patreon. I was able to, I believe, fix the studio computer so we have more quieter computer, better recording quality, and all around better lighting. So thanks, patrons. Ruthless Deathfang, Draconic Roar, Youthful Scholar, and Thunderbreak Region. Nice. And a foil Butcher's Glee. I loved this card in Limited. It's such a blowout. I mean, the 3 0 in Lifelink is already pretty spicy. And then giving it Regenerate is like you could trade up, gain life. It was a big swing. That card was, I thought, it was pretty good. We I mean, didn't want to play four of them, but I didn't hate playing two of them because they were just, they were very strong. Yeah, you, the patrons are keeping me along. I've got some fat packs coming in the mail. Interesting fat pack, so that should be fun. Cunning Breeze Dancer. Order of Ojitai. Dragonloft Idol. Pitless Horde. Oh, and another foil rare. Two foil rares. Gleam of Authority. Very strong card. It's like one of those enchantments where you don't really like to take enchantments. Um, just because resources are a thing and getting two for one is also a thing. But put that thing on something like an avian tactician, and you've got a real threat in the air. Yes, it becomes a removal magnet, but they have to have it, too. Dance of the Skywise. 
Colligan Forerunners, Deathwind, Ashrin Foremost, very strong card. So after I hopefully, after the recording hopefully works, then I can launch uh, my old outdated version of Adobe Premiere, like version six or five, and pray to God it works on Windows 10. And then hopefully if, if it did, then you'll have video on Monday. <laughs> Colligan Monument, Great Teacher's Decree, Avian Sunstriker, and there we go, Collected Company. The key in the Bant Coco deck. Nice pull there. This set did not hold its value very well, so I'm not. That's why I'm not really too concerned about prices. Nice thing is, I had it behind me. Down to only three booster boxes left in studio. Sarkon's Triumph, Dromoka's Gift, Ultimate Price, and Assault Formation. That was a fun deck, fun card to brew with. Run those bootylicious dot decks. Display of Dominance. Sight of the Scale Lords. Strong Arm Monk. And a Tarkus Command. There we go. I mean, overall, I think this box at one time would have been pretty spicy. We didn't get any walkers, but we got some of the good mythics. I mean, really, there's only Narset, right? And she wouldn't have been that great of an open anyway. Cunning Breeze Dancer, Lightning Berserker, Dragon Hunter, and Dromoka's Command. Okay. Back-to-back <laughs> -back commands, fams. All the commands are very strong. You would have loved opening them in any limited format, and they see play in constructed format. So, kind of just a good card. Ukrid Cobra. This thing was a beast to get around. So basic, but man, it's hard to get rid of. Circle of Elders. Meringue River Skeleton, Icefall Regent. Here we go. Wow, we've, we've really opened some powerful cards. There's a lot of power in Dragons of Tark here. I guess I'm either misremembering it or just likely. Or their creep was just, they just got stronger in decks over time, which is also possible. Sign of Ugin, Explosive Vegetation, Order of Ojitai, and Crater Elemental. And a foil Ojitai Interceptor. So I hope you guys uh, are having a good week. I hope you'll get a chance to at least try drafting Conspiracy 2. It looks like Wizards did a pretty good job. Um, put all the reprints that are needed. Well, they put a lot of good reprints in there. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to draft. I won't know until I actually draft it. Swift War Kite, Seismic Rupture, Deathwind, and Ojedi's Command. All right, let's see if we can just get all the commands. So good job on this set, Wizards. Now, as long as it's available, which I assume it will be, given how they print it, it'll be a win. And if you're going to complain all the time about a lot of things that they do, you got to give them credit when they get it right. Sarkhan's Triumph, Coliseum of Behemoth, Great Teacher's Decree, Dragon Lord Salumgar, and a foil Thunderbreak Regent. Holy cats, this box would have been pretty bananas at one time. I mean, it's still pretty bananas now, but I mean... Two or three foil rares? I think it was... I'm going to have to go back and double check, but I think we had three foil rares. Incoming foil rare alicious Dragon Star Gear Box. Sight Beyond Sight. Salt Road Ambushers. Self-Inflicted Wound. And Gleam of Authority. Yeah, overall, uh, I mean, there wasn't much in terms of money cards to get pulled, but a foil Thunderbreak Regent, Dragonlord Slumgar, uh, oh, Dromokus Command, Tarkus Command, Collected Company, there's another foil rare. Let's see, Dragonlord Dromoka, foil ultimate price, tons of mythics, Dragonlord Colligan, Secure the Waste, Necromancer Dragon, that's a, another foil rare. Risen Executioner, holy cow, yeah, just like, let me see here, one, two, three foil rares, one, uh, two, three, four mythics, 
pretty good box. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and give it a uh, beard stamp of approval. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you like this video, please take a second to crush that thumbs up button. It helps encourage me to keep going, helps new people find the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again real soon. What's up, and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.